People in the Middle Ages in Europe and probably elsewhere in the world had a very simple understanding. Good things are done by good people and bad things are done by bad people. Good people will enjoy heaven and bad people will be sent to hell, where they will be tortured through eternity as a punishment for their sinful life. Every day we read and hear about unethical behavior in organizations, fraud, corruption, human rights violations, sexual harassment, stealing, lying, sabotage. We feel surrounded by criminals. Why do all these things occur? How does evil enter our organizations? By the way, punishment in hell was imagined to be especially painful for merchants. Today we would call them managers. And some of the most crucial torture instruments were exclusively used for bankers. Like our ancestors, we tend to think that bad things are done by bad people. People with some personality deficits and bad intentions. What drives the financial crisis? Greedy bankers, of course. Why is there corruption? Criminal civil servants and criminal managers. Granted, sometimes bad things happen because some individuals act, well, maybe just a bit too selfish and ruthless. In our view, however, criminals are exceptions. We posit that most unethical decisions in organizations are made by normal people. People like you and me. My name is Guido Palazzo, I'm Professor of Business Ethics. And I'm Ulrich Hoffrage, Professor of Decision Theory. We both teach at the Faculty of Business and Economics at the University of Lausanne in Switzerland. And we would like to invite you to our course on unethical decision making. This course builds on a very simple observation. Sometimes bad things are done by good people. People with integrity, with the right values, with good intentions. These people might do bad things without even realizing that what they do is wrong, is, is harmful, is unethical. Very often people make unethical decisions not because of who they are, but because of the context in which they are embedded. Context can be stronger than reason. In our course, we will analyze the various layers of context that influence how people perceive the world and how they make decisions. You will be confronted with the power of context. We will show you how various contexts can remove the ethical dimension from your radar screen when making decisions. We will look at some famous corporate scandals, such as the Enron scandal or the Challenger explosion, and discuss these cases from the perspective of contextual power. We will share with you some recent knowledge from psychology and sociology and some wisdom from philosophers of the last 2000 years. This course is open to everyone. You don't need to have any particular background but managers and executives are particularly welcome. So come and join us on our expedition to the dark side of the force. You will not only learn some fascinating lessons on destructive social dynamics, you will also learn a lot about yourself, including how to protect yourself and your organization against the risk of ethical blindness.